Hi guys, Elite here with another art journal spread and this is actually the first page in my Dina Wakely journal and I think with my other journals somehow I skip this page because I think it's supposed to be like super wow or something like that and in this case I decided no I will just see what happens. So I'm very inspired here by a mixed media artist called Jody Owl or Owl. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. I will link to her website in the description box. And she has a few classes on the Artists Network uh, website, which is also kind of a subs subscription based um you know, online tutorial stuff and it costs $20 a month and they have a ton of really amazing art uh, tutorials. So I definitely recommend checking it out. I all the time discover someone new and amazing there and she has a few classes there. She also has uh, uh, her own classes on a different website, but they are more expensive and uh, sadly that's just not in my budget but um, yeah but the classes on the artist networks are included in the subscription price so I just started with some uh, doodling with uh, the incredible Jane Davenport pen and now I'm adding some watercolors. The incredible pen comes with an ink that is water soluble. So it smears just a little bit um, or it activates when you add water to it. But I'm being kind of careful and I like that effect. I think it adds, de it adds depth and detail. But uh, just be aware of that if you don't want your ink to move. So I'm using the Jane Davenport uh, Bright a watercolor set which is lovely and um, yeah just filling in the space with my favorite colors starting with some pinks obviously <laughs> moving on to teals and then um, yellows and you'll see that I'm really um, creating uh, like a variety of shades there with the pink I mostly added water with the teal I then uh, switched to um, the yellow and then I kind of faded it out and that creates uh, interest and depth to these um, yeah kind of abstract piece I got there so the hard thing with this is kind of to you know stop fussing and um, just just keep it fresh and not overworked and I wanted also to show you that uh, a lot of the times um, the kind of misconception is that art journals have to be really um, layered and you know there's a lot going on and it's very a long process but it doesn't have to be like that it can be something a lot more simple and um, you know using watercolors and not um, paints with stencils and stamps and layers and collage and all these things which I love but I just want to show you that there are no rules so this was already another day and <laughs> I got my um, Dr. PH Martin radiant concentrated watercolors and I already played with them a bit and compared to them the bright um, Jane Davenport set uh, looks uh, less bright <laughs> let's say it like that I still love it and um, the set, some of the colors are more light fast than the uh, radiant uh, concentrated watercolors. Uh, so I, I wouldn't say that, you know, for me, uh, I can only use now the radiant watercolors because they are so much brighter. Uh, I love them both and you can see that uh, they can work side by side in harmony and <laughs> Uh, everyone can play together. So I decided to add uh, another layer of watercolor and I, I let the first one dry uh, so that it so I can glaze over it and layer and create those stains where I want them uh, and it's not all going to run into each other. And I'm kind of going with the flow. I didn't really have a plan. I was going with 
color craving. Uh, I like that term. I'm just adding color where I think it's needed. And um, oh, maybe I didn't add the concentrated watercolors. Maybe I stayed just with the Jane Davenport ones. I don't know. We shall see <laughs> as the video progresses. I've been working on so many um, spreads that it's kind of hard to keep up. But I'm adding another layer and that um, really makes the color stronger. So you can totally do that with watercolors. You can layer them and that will uh, intensify the colors. And I think... Yeah, there's not a lot to it. I am going to add just a little bit of detail with um, some white gel pen and then, oh, I think I also added like a few dots with a black pen and this was just a lot of fun and I'm quite happy with the result. Um, again, it's like the first page in the journal and you know you want it to be a bit wow when you open it and I do like it I just I don't think it's more special than <laughs> the other ones <laughs> that are going to be in this journal so this was just uh, really fun to create and I highly recommend that you check out uh, Jody's work it's fantastic uh, she does art journaling and also uh, canvases and yeah, she's also a, a lovely teacher from the, I think, two uh, classes that, online classes, like videos that I've seen her um, teach. It was uh, very inspiring and her style is very fun and whimsical. Um, she has a great use of color and also when she uh, paints in almost monochromatic uh, color schemes, it's still full of interest and depth and yeah, just uh, really a pleasure to look at. So now I'm adding some journaling in white. I felt that black was just a little bit too much, um, like too much contrast or too dramatic and I really wanted to keep this uh, lighter. So I added the journaling in white. It does um, kind of fade a little bit. I think because it's on watercolor, then it kind of activates a bit the watercolor below it. And then the color is not completely uh, white, but I still like it. And my journaling, it has meaning, but it's a bit of um, you know what they call it like a stream of consciousness or something I'm just putting words down I'm not too um, I don't really want to go back and read this it's not a must for me and I like the way it looks and um, it feels good to put things on paper so that's it a short one I hope you enjoyed this and felt inspired thank you for watching I wish you a lovely day bye